Conditions, Knights of Cydonia, great track. How do you, how do you, how does a track like that come about? Because it's it's so epic and ridiculous and <laughs> anthemic and all over the place. It's yeah. a little bit Bohemian Rhapsody in the sense that it seems yeah. to be lots of songs in one. Who comes up with that idea? How do you get that idea across? How do you make that happen? Yeah, um, yeah, it's a good question, really, because it's been a long time since I thought about that one. Um, I guess um, partly, you know, a Tex-Mex thing, obviously. Uh, and partly my dad's band, The Tornadoes, you know, right. a little bit of that. So I was looking to do something that was a bit more instrumental at first. I, didn't, I wasn't necessarily thinking it would have a big you know, vocal element at the end or anything. I just liked the idea of doing a track that just had a lead guitar part as the vocal, if you know what I mean. Yep. Uh, you know, just because at that point, um, I kind of felt like the sort of more prog side of the band, if you know what I mean. Because like, what, what we didn't talk about is before we made our first album, we actually had a lot of stuff that was a lot more instrumental. So anyway, I was trying to sort of reconnect with that a little bit. And... Uh, and I guess I was thinking of things like groups like The Shadows. Right. I was, I was coming from that angle originally. Like, you know, sort of like the idea of this sort of cool guitar lead part. It isn't like a flashy guitar part. It's just like a nice cool yeah. melody, a melodic guitar part. Um, and then it just... It just span from there and then I started watching uh, I reminded myself of a few uh, Clint Eastwood movies um, like uh, uh, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly um, I can't remember the name of the other one what's the other one um, a couple of, anyway Ennio Morricone is, is the is the, uh, is the composer for the music for those films Italian dude and uh, and there's something about that that I was trying to get into the feel as well <laughs> So originally it was very retro. It was a very retro tune. Mm. You know, um, it sounded like something from the fifties. Um, a mixture of my dad's band, dad's band, Dick Dale, Shadows, and any many of Morricone. Morricone. Um, and then uh, so th it was like that. But when we started producing the track, it, it, the retroness of it didn't seem to fit with the rest of the album and what we were doing at that point. So we just tried to work out how could we make this sound a bit more contemporary. So instead of playing like this kind of retro like tremolo, like boom, 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 you can imagine how that would have sounded originally. It was like the shadows basically. Uh, and we actually just made it a lot more heavy. And I stuck it through the most obscene, ridiculous distortion pedal I had called a Fuzz Factory, and it just like and I started doing this crazy tremolo thing. So it almost went a bit comedy at that point. Uh, and because of that guitar, it just that guitar then sent us on this whole other direction of like, homie, this is quite a sort of flamboyant sort of, you know, prog tune or whatever. And then the ending vocal part, I think, might have been part of another tune that we sort of stuck on the end of that, basically. That's really interesting. <laughs> is that what you wanted to? No, well, yeah. Well, I, I don't know what the answer would be, but yeah. it's really interesting yeah. because it is. It's 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 such a track. It's it and, it and it's everything. But now you say that there is that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, yeah, if that you heard it played good. without that just crazy distorted guitar, if it's like boom, 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 you know, it just sounds like a shadow's tune. Yeah. When you do that, you sound like, you sound like my dad trying to ask me what a song is that he's heard on the radio. <laughs> it, go, it goes boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you must know it. You play it all the time. What's that? Boom, boom, boom. He wrote it. Boom, boom. <laughs>